Day began on an early morning flight to Hartford Springfield. The quick flight is even shorter than the metro ride to the airport. Once on the ground, we headed straight for Springfield and it felt great to be back. Our first stop was to see Erskine, his spouse Michael, and of course the adorable Pepe, who pretty much owns the place. Say hello to YouTube. You're such a cutie. Look at you. Aww. Erskine said he would spend this beautiful New England Saturday gardening and not at the Big E. Look at that beautiful sunshine. Beautiful sunshine. See, all of this right here has to be cut back. Getting into the car. But fortunately, as usual, Michael was ready to go. Bye, Drew. Have a nice time. Enjoy the biggie. So we've taken a shortcut to the biggie. Traveling these familiar back roads of western Massachusetts was in every way a trip down memory lane. I first discovered the Big E shortly after arriving in Springfield to work as a cup reporter at 22 News. I was just a baby back then. And although I've since lived in Philadelphia and now in Washington, D.C., I still have yet to miss a Big E. <laughs> Held for two weeks every fall, the Big E is one of the largest fairs in North America. That explains the massive traffic backups. Because all those are stopped trying to get off at 7 Trying to get to the Big E. <laughs> oh my god, cream pops! In many ways, the Big E is like any other state fair, only bigger and with an old New England flair. So Michael and Shirley are looking to see if they have a bear named Drew. They do. <laughs> Look. He's back out there. Oh, and he's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, look! Look at this! Look! Get in there! Oh! Oh, 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 oh gosh! <laughs> that is just the door! That is so cute! You got all the name in there? My favorite attraction is the Avenue of States and these grand old pavilions which are replicas of the original state houses of each New England state. It's the Massachusetts house. <laughs> and biggie experts like me know that it's the state buildings where you find the most delicious gourmet foods. Yes. England cream 
Center. From the Massachusetts building. And they are pretty much where I spent all my time. I don't see corn here. Chicken What'd you get, Michael? Chicken cheese kebab. Ah. Look from the New Hampshire. Do you eat chicken? New Hampshire kebab corn. And look at this line. Woo. Delicious kettle corn. All empty. This is real New England apple cider that my toy just bought while we are at the New Hampshire house. I guarantee you that this will be the best apple cider that I'll have all year long. I'm trying to hold the shot. You know how my cool always tells me to hold the shot. Oh. This is the main reason I come to the Big E. This apple crisp with ice cream is it's worth the entire trip. It is so good. Here he goes again. Another bite. Look at that. How exciting is this? This is this is must see TV. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the ice cream. Is this the Russian cup? No, the Russian cup is right here. So that's 100. Fresh bread here at the Big E. Do you know any other state fair that does that? I think not. Did you get one? Yeah, I'm trying to think which one. Good for our camera. <laughs> Smile, really? We're gonna eat some bread. Tell us, is it good, Michael? Very good. Everything five one, get one. Michael, what is that? It looks delicious. It is stuffed from the Rhode Island house. And when I was a kid, I used to go to Rhode Island on the weekends and get my own cohogs fresh. Tell people from who not water. Now tell people who've never been to New England what cohogs are. You can tell by looking at it. It's similar to a large clam. It's very delicious. Mm. And only after eating our way through all six New England states was it finally time to say goodbye. Leaving the Big E 2010. Another goodbye to the Big E.